Creating axes is the first step of modeling. Intersection of axes will form a node or joint, at which member can be inserted. Each axis has direction, DIR, property. Axis closer to horizontal will be auto-set to direction 1. Axis closer to vertical will be auto-set to direction 2. A columnar wall can only be inserted if there is an intersection of axes. There are three ways to model axes. Firstly, you can use the axis tool to build axes individually. Draw axes by clicking on the modeling screen. Secondly, you can use the orthogonal axis generator to build a system of axes quickly. The axis group can be rotated by keying an angle. Thirdly, you can use DXF import function to import all axes from a DXF drawing file. This can only be done for a new project where no axes exists. Modeling axes using axis or grid tool. There are three insertion method for creating an axis. Single segment axis. Create a straight line axis by clicking on the start and end point of the axis. Multi-segment axis. Create a single axis with multiple segments of any shape. Curve axis. Create curve axis by specifying the offset radius. Let us now model some axis. Go to the Settings Center and the Building Set Out tab. Click the General tab. Take note that the angle step is 5 degrees. Change the length step to 1000 millimeters. These increment and decrement steps can be activated by holding down the control key while modeling axis. Click OK to close. Go to Modeling tab. Click on the grid icon. The axis dialog will appear. This dialog can be moved and docked anywhere. Simply click and drag or drag to a docking option. Example to the left. To undock, click and drag elsewhere. Let's dock it to the left. In the axis dialog, the label is by default A. The insertion method is single segment. To create the axis, place the mouse cursor at the intersection of the gray guide grids. The grid intersection text will appear. To confirm the start point, left click and move the mouse cursor. A rubber band will appear, together with the length, angle, delta x and delta y values. Now hold the control key and move the mouse cursor. Notice now the length is incrementing 1000 millimeters. And the angle is incrementing 5 degrees as preset in the settings center. Let us create a horizontal axis. Left click to confirm the endpoint, and the axis is created. Let's create another axis by manually inputting the length and angle. Left click to define the start point. Move the mouse cursor. Press F2 key for manual input. You can now enter the length. Input 20,000 millimeters. Press Tab to cycle to the angle. Enter 5 degrees. Press Enter to confirm. The new axis is created. Let us create a new axis by specifying the delta x and delta y values. Left click to define the start point. Move the mouse cursor. Press F2 key for manual input. Key in 20,000, 1,000. 20,000 is the delta x. X and 1000 is the delta, Y values. Press Enter to confirm. The new axis is created. Let us now create a multi-segment axis. Click multi-segment axis under insertion method in the axis dialog. Left click to specify the first point and proceed to left click on the second point. You can continue to left click to define more points. To cancel the previous point, press Escape key. You can also use F2 to manually specify the next point, similar to single segment axis. To finish, right click. Multi segment axis is useful if you want to create a crank beam. When you create a beam along a multi segment axis, a single beam will be created with the same alignment as the multi segment axis. Let us create a curve axis. Click Curve Axis under Insertion Method in the Axis dialog. 
left click to specify the first point, and left click again to define the second point. Now, move your mouse cursor to define the offset, and left click to confirm. The offset can also be specified by pressing the F2 key for manual input. Say enter 3000 mm. Press enter, and the curve axis is created. We will now explore more functions of the axis. If you have not already done so, firstly, create a horizontal axis. When the axis dialog is out, you are in axis creation mode. Anywhere you click will create an axis. Hence, when you have finished creating axis, close the axis dialog. Now select the axis. When axis is selected, it will be highlighted in red. Right click anywhere, and a context menu will appear, showing what can be done with this axis. Let's select offset axis, which will create another parallel axis. Move the mouse cursor, and click on a destination point, to create a new parallel axis. You can continue to create the next parallel axis, say by pressing F2 key for manual input. Type 3000 mm. Press Enter to confirm to create the new axis. To end the current offset axis operation, right click or press the escape key. Let us now move an existing axis. Select the axis, right click, select move. Click on the destination point to move it. Alternatively, press F2 key for manual input. Type distance to be moved. Press Enter to confirm. Let's rotate an axis. Select the axis, right click, select rotate axis. As shown in the bottom status bar, the next step is to pick the base of rotation. Left click to select point of rotation. Next, specify the rotation angle by pressing F2 key for manual input. Enter 5 degrees. Press Enter. Next, you can move the mouse cursor and lengthen or shorten the axis, followed by left click to confirm the end point. Or simply press Enter again to accept the default length. Let's stretch an axis. Select the axis, right click, select stretch axis. As shown in the bottom status bar, pick a point closer to the end to be stretched. Then, pick the destination point by left click. Alternatively, press F2 to specify the length to stretch. You can perform similar steps to shorten the axis. We will now stretch axis to a boundary axis. Select the axis, right click, select stretch axis to a boundary axis. As shown in the bottom status bar, draw the boundary line by picking two point. The end of the axis closer to the boundary will be stretched. This function also works with multiple axes selected. We will now edit the axis end point. Select the axis, right click, select, edit axis end point. As shown in the bottom status bar, pick the new position of the selected axis end point by left clicking on a point. The end of closer to the new point will be moved. This function only works with single axis selected. Let us edit the property of an existing axis. Select the axis, right click, select properties. This will bring the properties dialog of the selected axis. In the axis dialog, you can say, change the label. Type in the new label. You must click update for it to take effect. The axis balloon on each or both ends can also to switch on or off by simply clicking the balloon icon continuously. Then click update. After editing the axis, remember to close the axis properties. If you have multiple axes, you can also edit them in a group. Select all the axes by dragging a box around them. Right click. This will only expose functions that works for multiple axes. Select stretch axis to a boundary. Draw the boundary line. All the axes will be aligned with the boundary. You can also change some properties of the axes in a group. Right click properties will reveal a table where you can edit say the label or the axis balloon. 
close the table. Alternatively, deselect all axes by pressing the escape key. Then right click, member tables, axes tables. All axes will be shown. Close the table. Before proceeding, zoom out, select all axes on the plan view by dragging a window around them. Right click, delete, or press the delete key. OK to delete. 